I bumped into one of your former teammates on the train, who was probably one of the most hated New York Knicks, Charles Smith, not too long ago. What was going through your mind when that man missed three layups in a row right underneath the basket? Here Starks changed his mind. Plenty of time on the shot clock, down to 10. Ewing for Smith. Smith. Strip, Smith. Stop, Smith. Stopped again by Pippen. What a play by Scotty Pippen. Final seconds. Jordan for Armstrong. And the Bulls have defeated the Knicks. You know, uh, everybody... Uh remembers Charles Smith for that, and I remember Charles Smith as being one of the best power forwards in the league before he got to the Knicks, and uh, unfortunately, he had to play the three, which kind of, you know, limited his uh, productiveness, so, I mean, he tried to make it, you know, it wasn't like he purposely tried to miss, could he have gathered and dunked it, maybe, but, you know, to be in that situation at that time, with the height, you know, with the height level of that game, you, you know, you never know until you're in that position. So everybody can sit there and say, man, I would have dunked it. I would have dunked it. But, you know, that's my man, and I know he tried to make it. <laughs> All right, now I got, one, I got one more question about that with, about that, and because we had a little discussion before we sat down in front of the camera. See, you my favorite Nick, but my co-host, Mark the Statman, Skevich, has another Nick as his favorite Nick, Patrick Ewan. So I got to get at him on this. What was going through your mind when Patrick Ewan goes for that layup instead of just dunking the ball? Starts, cuts to the corner. to take the series in seven. See, once again, you know, Patrick <laughs> has made a lot of great shots, and if you remember probably the year before that, he's the one that made a shot, you know, to take us there. So, and I don't look at, I don't, I don't pick the negatives. You know, I, I, I had fun with the Knicks. You know, one thing I, I respected about the Knicks is whether we had clicks or whatever, once we stepped on the floor, it was one uniform team ready to take all prisoners. I mean, you know, we just didn't allow it in our house. Uh, you wasn't going to come in and get nothing easy, and everybody just tuned in, and that's what I liked about, you know, the Knicks, whether we hung out together or not, didn't really matter. Once we was on the court, it was a unified, uh, it was unified force.